In these times of challenges and uncertainties, I've been giving a lot of thought to the word joy. What is joy? We often think of joy as happiness and we use those words interchangeably. Rick Warren says that joy is the settled assurance that God is in control of every detail of my life, the quiet confidence that ultimately everything is going to be all right, and the determined choice to praise God in every situation. I read a blog, Grace in My Space, by Sarah Simons. She had this to say, happiness is an emotion. It's dependent on circumstances. It can be switched off in an instant once that circumstance or that emotion has changed. Joy, on the other hand, is more of a permanent outlook on life. Joy is sometimes hard to explain because it does come from God and it's dependent on God. We don't manufacture joy like we do happiness. It's a profound sense of peace that the world doesn't have the slightest amount of power to take away. It's a choice. You choose to be joyful, no matter how terrible life can be or what's happening in your life. God gives us fullness of joy. That's kind of hard to believe sometimes, isn't it? Because we view joy as happiness. But when we understand what joy truly is, then it becomes easier to see it in our lives. In Romans, it says we have peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Psalm 16, 11, You, God, made known to me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy, and at your right hand pleasures forevermore. Beautiful, God-loving, devoted Christians struggle with sadness and hardships. Life isn't one big abundant existence just because we're Christians. We see sorrow all around us. I think of Paul, that no matter what the circumstance was in his life, he always rejoiced in the Lord. Joy is imperative for boosting our resilience and well-being, and joy of the Lord is eternal. God gives us joy in spite of the circumstances, in spite of the trials and tribulations that we're facing, like, like today with COVID-19. It's really changed our lives. I pray for a lot of things, as I'm sure you do too. But how many times have I actually prayed for joy? It's good to ask for joy, because then you're asking God to change you from the inside. John 16, 24. Until now, you have not asked for anything in my name. Ask and you will receive, and your joy will be complete. As we continue on this time of sheltering in place and wondering what's the new normal going to look like, we've been mourning. We're mourning the loss of the way we used to do things. Some are mourning the loss of jobs. We're mourning the fact that we can't gather with friends and family outside of our home. But in that mourning, Remember these words from the psalmist. You have turned my mourning into dancing. You have taken off my sackcloth and clothed me with joy that my heart may sing to you and not be silent. O Lord, my God, I will give you thanks forever. The scriptures are filled with passages on joy and verses that can help us in these times. I urge you to search for them and live them. Have a blessed and joyful week.